Hello, this is Hydatech, 19th of September 2010. The purpose of this video is to show how I will reproduce the conditions that were in place a couple of days ago when I made what I feel is an interesting observation with regard to how a mobile phone can interfere with the operation of my PWM and the resultant effect that has on the generation of HHO gas by my electrolyzer. What we're looking at here at the moment is a camera whose sole purpose will be to record the activity within the electrolyzer as we proceed with this exercise and the video from that camera will be superimposed onto this main video in order to allow us to see two things happening at the same time hopefully. Now the electrolyzer is just a glass container please desist from uh, glass shrapnel jokes at this point it will never be driven that hard. This glass container contains two liters of deionized water with 2.2 grams of sodium hydroxide. At the moment the temperature of the electrolyzer is approximately 17.2 degrees centigrade. The electrolyzer is further made up of three sets of stainless steel tubes with one tube set within the other. The outer tube is six inches in length, the inner tube is seven. They are connected in parallel with two leads coming out from the bottom of the electrolyzer that connect up to the PWM and of which at present the positive lead is disconnected. The reason for that is to allow me to set up the PWM without any distortions that can be brought about when the PWM is operating under load. Here on the scope we could see one of two things. At the moment, we could see the settings of the PWM, which are approximately 2 kHz with an 80% duty cycle, and that duty cycle is not being restricted whatsoever. However, I will now restrict it completely, and then connect up the positive lead of the electrolyzer to the PWM. Okay, the settings on this scope are at 50 microseconds per division. And before moving on, I'd just like to show you the power supply we'll be using for this. It is set and will remain so at 12 volts. And you can see that the amperage load on this benchtop power supply is less than 1 amp as we speak. Hardly surprising because the PWM is not operating under much of a load to speak of really right now. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll be using this mobile phone to establish and utilize a connection. The make and model of mobile phone is irrelevant. I have reproduced these conditions and this result using other makes and models of mobile phones since two days ago. The important thing to note here is how the mobile phone will affect the pulses that are generated by the PWM or how the mobile phone affects the PWM and the resultant pulses it generates whichever way you want to look at it. Okay what I'll do now is I will bring up the cutoff point so it just in allows a small percentage of the set duty cycle through and I would ask you to observe, if you would, the generation of HHO within the electrolyzer now that, now that I've done that. At the moment I could tell you that the benchtop power supply is operating under a load of 1 amp according to its dial. What I'll do now is I will establish a call with this mobile phone and I apologize for partially obscuring the scope screen while I do so but I would like you to see as much as what I am doing in as synchronized a fashion as possible between the phone, this screen, and the output of the electrolyzer over here. Okay, here we go. See that? I can tell you that the amperage is uh, fluctuating on the benchtop power supply between 1 amp and 3 amps as we speak. I will now disconnect. 
and everything goes back to normal. I'll allow the electrolyzer contents to settle and then I will perform that exercise again. Okay, I'll do that now. There we are. I'll just turn on the speaker to show this is a butterfly call. At the third stroke, the time from BT will be 3, 17 and 20 and I'll cut off that speaker now because I find it annoying. At the third stroke, the time from BT... And then I'll disconnect the call. And everything goes back to normal. I'll do that one more time. And disconnect one last time. Okay, there you have it. It appears to me that uh, this result is sensitive to the distance between the mobile phone and the PWM. It also uh, appears to be uh, an issue with uh, shielding because I interpret this as uh, radio interference and how that affects the operation of the PWM. This might go some way to explaining possible anomalies uh, with, uh, with respect to the inability to reproduce certain results by other experimenters under apparently known conditions. Well, I can tell you now that as of two days ago, a mobile phone introduces itself to me as a wild card under so-called control conditions. Anyway, uh, I'd welcome any feedback and, and opinions uh, on this, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to, um, uh, to, to look at this video. And um, I look forward to uh, any opinions that you might have on this matter.